it's kind of hurting right now. It's a little bit damaged. It's a little bit broken. It's a little bit bruised. It's a little bit bent, right? So I'm going to let it rest for a while and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to focus on these other three areas of my life that maybe I'm kicking butt at, that I'm doing really well at, or, you know, I've been neglecting them for a while and I think I need to spend some time reading and resting and relaxing and getting some spiritual growth and, and developing personally, right? Or, you know, maybe emotionally I've been distant from my friends and my family and my relationships, or I've been putting on a show and I've been fake and I haven't been showing my true feelings or maybe mentally I haven't been doing my affirmations and I'm not affirming all the wins in my life and I'm not growing my confidence right and I'm not working on my courage and facing my giants so if for some reason the fitness aspect gets taken away and I know you guys associate me with you know the the workouts and the high intensity and the combat and and the booty class and and abs and running and, and cycling and burpees and kettlebell swings and dumbbell snatches and all that stuff which is totally cool but I really want you to think that when that is taken away from you there's still more aspects to the coaching of relentless that you can work on, that we can focus on together as a team, as a community, and that we got to lift each other up. But we can't do that if we don't ask for help and if we don't communicate, if you just struggle without raising your hand. And I'm telling you guys, years ago, I was that person where I didn't raise my hand. I wouldn't ask for help. I had everything under control. I had everything on my own. I didn't need anybody's help. I was damn determined I was going to do this by myself. I'm going to be a strong female. I'm going to be independent. I'm going to be like of sound mind and I'm going to give and give and give and give and give till there's nothing left. I didn't have any power. I didn't have any strength. I didn't have any fortitude. I didn't have any resilience. And you get knocked down like that, you get knocked down, right? So what I'm asking you to do today in order to finish this year strong, guys, is I need you to dig deep. I need you to write those four areas down in your life, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. I need to give you, give, I need you to give yourself a scorecard or a report card. How are you doing in those areas? What, how, how do you feel like you're strong? What are your strengths there? You know, like where are your roots at? Where is it easy for you to plant your feet and stand up, right? And then where are you really struggling? Right? And then you got to reach out for help, whether it's me or it's your accountability buddy, it's your best friend, it's your therapist, you know, it's somebody. You've got to reach out and ask for help. How do I get there? How do I overcome this? What have I done in the past that has allowed me to overcome it? So that you can finish this year strong because it's been challenging. And the way that it looks like it's going, it's going to continue to be challenging at least until spring. So... This is our life right now. This is normal. This is normal, right? The whole new normal thing that everybody's been talking about for I don't know how long. This is our normal. We've been living this since March, right? So what can we do right now with what we have? I say that a lot when we're training, right? Do what you can with what you got right now. Do the best you can with what you got right now. Start right now. Start ugly. Do what you can right now. If you can't do fitness, right? Can you at least walk? If you can't stand on your feet, can you do combat sitting down in a chair? Can you do upper body, shoulders and back, right? Um, I'm not going to be able to do push-ups and pull-ups and anything overhead for a really long time. Right? For me, a really long time. I'm not exactly sure, but for me, a really long time is like more than three days. So I just want you to be thinking about, can you work on nutrition better? Can you work on personal development better right now? Can you spend more time with your family right now? Can you change your habits, but keep your routine? So maybe you can't get up and walk or run right now. Maybe you can't get up and do a HIIT workout. You know, maybe that, maybe you're put out right now because something's hurting and fa your body's failing you right now. It's temporary. Your body can heal itself and fix itself but maybe you've got to put the right nutrition in your body right now and you need help doing that. Maybe you need the right amount of sleep and the rest and, and de-stressing right now, which would be going to bed and having a good nighttime routine and getting off your phone and not scrolling and still waking up in the morning and spending that time reading or doing your devotions. And if you can get up and walk, at least get up and walk, right? So it's little things like that, guys, that are going to help build your confidence, build your courage, build your stamina, right? And that's what we're looking for is the ability to endure and every single one of you guys is made to endure so that's what i want you thinking about today on transformation thursday is how 
how in all of those elements of your life, because your mental capacity, your emotional capacity, your physical capacity, your spiritual capacity, all of those trickle and play a role, right? They play a role in your career and your hobbies and your passion and your relationships and your finances. All of those things go together, right? So if we, if, we, if we can't do one right now, there are certainly other things that we can do to make them, you can still be functioning, you can still be working, you can still be growing. I'm not working in circles. Well, I kind of am, but you know what I mean? You can still be growing. You don't have to give up everything. It's like the analogy of because you have one flat tire, you don't slash the other three, right? Like, so you've got the four elements. We got four tires. Physical sucks right now. Can't do as much as you want or can't do what you used to do. You're not the athlete that you used to be. You got to start all over from scratch. That ship has sailed, right? You know, you've aged 20 years, maybe. You know, maybe you're sick. Maybe you just had a surgery or you're about to have a surgery. You know, maybe your knees are just weak from beating them up from 20 years of being an athlete, whatever it might be. So you're not going to go kill your, your emotional your mental and your spiritual well-being, are you? Because that's what you're doing when you quit and when you give up and when you allow it to trickle into the other areas of your life, right? So be thinking about that today if this strikes uh, with anybody. I just, I want you to start looking through that perspective and see if that helps you because there's going to be times in your life where this applies to you. So maybe not today and I hope not. So I hope that, you know, you can get through all four areas of your life right now, not at a hundred percent because nobody's perfect, but remember the 80, 20 rule applies for everything. Okay. So 80% in all areas, that's what you need to be giving. That's what you need to be producing. That's what you need to be striving for. Okay, and working towards. So, and that's not saying that, oh, she's telling me to only do good enough. I had a boss that did that when I was straight out of college. She was like, it just has to be good enough. And I was like, what? What? Why is she telling me it's got to be good enough? You know, it's got to be perfect. It's got to be great. It's got to be amazing. It's got to be excellent. Yeah, no, sometimes. Sometimes you just got to be good enough in all of the areas of your life so that they can come together and be a unit and be strong. And then together, all four of those areas will be 100%. They'll be kick-ass, right? They'll be unstoppable. They'll be resilient. They'll be relentless. So I want you guys to start working on that. And if this helps anybody, comment below, all right? Give it a like, share it. Uh, give me a testimony, any of those things that are going to help you inspire somebody else, that are going to help hold you accountable, right? That are going to help you get through these next six weeks, right? As we transition into uh, winter and a new year. Um, I'm enjoying this cold weather. So hope you guys get out. Um, have an awesome day today. Hope that helps somebody. Peace out.